Hi, this is our video for DCC5. Voltmeters measure pressure difference, ammeters measure current. Voltmeters and ammeters both make measurements about your circuit, but they work in very different ways and behave very differently. To make accurate measurements, you'll need to pay attention to how you're using each instrument. So we've done this in class, but I want to give you kind of like a review of what we've seen. Um, we've got a circuit here. Um, and we're going to start by talking about the voltmeters. Voltmeters measure electric pressure difference across two places in the circuit, usually on either side of a single object. So we can see this bulb's lit up. If we take our voltmeter and we put one lead on the one side of the bulb and the other lead on the other side of the bulb, we read about 2.6 volts across that bulb. If we do the same thing across a battery, um, we'll get a pressure difference of 2.75 volts. So they're not exactly the same, but they're close. I'm going to show you one last thing that I think is interesting. Um, if we measure the pressure difference across this wire, we get 0 0.04 or 0 0.05. Sometimes you can get it down to um, like 0 0.02 depending on the how, how like the wires are touching each other and that type of thing. Um, like this, there you go, 0 0.03. We have been assuming that the pressure difference across wires is zero. That's an assumption that we made, um, but I wanna point out that we are using a model and part of our electric pressure model is the assumption that pressure difference across wires is zero. That's a very useful assumption. It does help us make useful predictions, but we realize when we actually measure the wire, it's not exactly true. This is the idea of a model. It doesn't have to be exactly true for it to be useful. A whole lot of things in science work this way, so it's important to pay attention to it. So, let's uh, focus specifically on how we, would, uh, how we would think about a measurement of pressure difference. Uh, let's think about a circuit that's got a battery and say a bulb and another bulb. This circuit is slightly different from um, our circuit that we just identified. Um, let's say this uh, battery, we hook up a voltmeter across it. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Voltmeters will be drawn with a box and a V inside the box. And notice we are measuring um, PD across the battery. This word across here is very, very important because it shows how the voltmeter actually works. We are actually putting these two um, leads across both sides of the battery. And let's just say for the sake of argument that we measured this was, uh, let's say the, the uh, voltmeter reads five volts. Um, so the PD across the battery equals five volts. One way of showing that would be to show five volts and zero volts. We've only annotated pressure so far with letters, but we can do it with numbers too. Um, and I'm doing this because this says when you know a value for the PD across a circuit in a diagram, you can annotate it on the circuit diagram. Um, we've, we've seen this, we've done this with numbers actually in our lab. We can identify this if we measured it would actually be 2.5 volts and that's how we show the pressure difference across this bulb. The pressure difference across this bulb would be also 2.5 volts. Um, and that voltmeter is measuring the pressure difference across each of these objects. Um, these are the numbers that we just measured um, but we could build a circuit with two bulbs and we could measure it out and it would come out something like this. Again this is assuming that the pressure difference across the wires is zero or at least very close to zero. One last thing, um, this note says to calculate pressure difference with values, find the difference between the electric pressure at two different points. This is real straightforward. We're saying um, pressure difference equals 
equals um, pressure one minus pressure two. That's what the word difference means. So if we imagine that this position is P1 and this position is P2, all the voltmeter is doing is saying, okay, what's five volts minus zero volts? That's the pressure difference. And this is a really easy subtraction problem. Obviously the answer is five volts, but I'm just pointing out to you the word difference here has real mathematical meaning. Okay, well, let's go on and talk about ammeters. Ammeters measure current through the ammeter itself. To measure current through an object, the ammeter must be placed in the same path as the object itself. I'm gonna draw a picture, a circuit diagram of this, and then we're actually gonna see what it looks like with a real ammeter. Um, this is something that you've done already, but if we imagine our battery and our circuit with a bulb in it, um, if we want to measure the current through this bulb, we need to put the ammeter in the same path as the bulb. We're going to draw an ammeter as a box with an A in it. And this is an extremely different way of measuring things than the voltmeter. Notice the voltmeter is across the object. The ammeter is in the same path as the object itself. So this would be how we measure... Uh, current through the bulb this is what we're doing here um, and let me show you how this works for a real circuit we've got our battery hooked up to our bulb we've got these wires um, and we need to break the connection between these two wires in order to insert the ammeter um, and actually make a measurement here. Um, so we're going to say, all right, if the if we actually want to make a measurement on this ammeter of the current through the bulb, we need to connect the wires in such a way that the current actually goes through the ammeter. So you can't see this all that well. But this is saying the current leaves the battery um, goes through the bulb, through the ammeter, and then back to the battery. The, the loop, in the, the path includes the bulb and the ammeter both. We can see that in the circuit hookup here as I trace the wires from the battery, through the bulb, through the ammeter, and then back to the battery. I apologize, that's not easier to see. It's way easier to see on the circuit diagram itself. So notice if I actually read this value, this says halfway between 0.2 and 0.4, which would be um, 0 0.3 amps. Um, this is a, an example of a current through a specific um, object. Remember, we know that as the current increases through a bulb, the brightness has to increase as well. Um, but um, an ammeter gives us an actual number for that value. Um, just some notes in general on how to think about ammeters, um, since you're going to have to be setting up correctly. This first note is really, really important to remember that an ammeter behaves like a wire. When deciding how slash where to place an ammeter, so it won't change the circuit think of what a wire would do. I'll show you one last example of this. 
I'm not actually gonna do it because it would uh, it would break the ammeter actually. But if I go back to my circuit here, um, you can imagine. I'll I'll leave this up so you can uh, copy down those notes if you don't have them yet. You can imagine um, someone trying to hook up an ammeter the way a voltmeter would be hooked up. We saw a voltmeter gets hooked up like this across the bulb. What would happen if someone came across and hooked up an ammeter across the bulb like this? Well, I can show you what would happen to the bulb by replacing the ammeter with just a wire because an ammeter itself behaves like a wire. Let's just connect the two sides of this bulb with a wire and see what the bulb does. The bulb goes out completely, right? You can see that there's no current going through this bulb at all. The reason is because we've created a short circuit that goes around the bulb. This wire is directly connecting one side of the battery to the other and I can feel this is getting hot, that circuit is dangerous, I'm going to connect it because it's not safe. But if we were to connect that ammeter across that bulb, this needle would shoot way up and then it wouldn't be useful anymore. Something inside the ammeter would, would break and it wouldn't make useful measurements after that. So the way we would be able to figure that out ahead of time and not do that would be thinking that the ammeter behaves like a wire. We know that we can't just connect the ammeter across the bulb because that would short circuit the battery. The ammeter needs to be placed in the same path as the bulb to measure the current through the bulb. And to show that more clearly, I can even put a little arrow here, a little arrow here, and a little arrow here, showing that the current through all of these, all three of these objects is exactly the same. The current through the ammeter and the current through the bulb are, are the same.